First, coming to the cage, the challenger, Joe Apocalypse Abuato. By my hand, I take God's reason. And making his way to the ring with a record of two wins and one loss at a bridge yeah. in New Jersey. Look, he's worried. He's representing the red corner. Joe Abuata. Joe Abuata, 6'3", 255 pounds, he's 26 years old. He actually lost his last fight uh, to Vic Cheek at GC62 Sprawler Brawl. But again, a big guy that comes with a lot of intensity, always ready to fight, and uh, it should be entertaining here in the main event here at BCX5. And his opponent, coming to the cage, the champion, Carlton, the convincer, Hasselrig. And making his way to the ring, representing the blue corner with a record of two wins and no losses out of Pittsburgh, PA, Carlton Hasselrig and a team Hasselrig. Yep. Six-time All-American wrestler. Yep, yeah, Carlton Hasselrig, I mean, a guy that we saw uh, start, open up his uh, mixed martial arts uh, career in BCX4 with a TKO victory over Shane Ock. He was Don't Blink now, now he's the convincer. Carlton Hasselrig doing a great job, though, over the last six months of convincing everybody that he's for real, mixed martial arts. The guy's a stud. He won Pennsylvania wrestling title his senior year from school, did not even have a wrestling program. Mike, like you mentioned, he's a six-time national champ in college, three times Division II, three times Division I. Drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers, goes on to the Pro Bowl. He then battled alcohol and drug issues, and uh, now he's turned his attention to mixed martial arts. And, and Mike, he's a guy that we questioned uh, fighting Shane Knight. Shane Knight was a well-versed veteran. He fought some very, very tough guys in the International Fight League. Uh, Carlton Hauserick dispatched him in BCX4. Uh, then he goes on to defeat Carlos Moreno at Elise XC on uh, the right. undercard there on May 31st. So he's got a bright, bright future, man. He's beaten Father Time. He's very, very skilled. He's an absolute animal. Introducing and boy, were we first, wrong. the Last challenger. Fight. We were wrong about that one. Fighting out of the red corner. But I'm convinced. This fighter hails from Bridgewater, New Jersey. Fighting out of Wilkie's Warriors with a record of two wins and one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Joe Apocalypse Abuata. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a former six-time NCAA wrestling champion and former NFL Pro Bowl football player. This fighter hails from Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Fighting out of Team Hasselrig. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the US KBA and the BCX heavyweight Champion Carlton, the convincer, Hasselrig. So this heavyweight Your bout. Your referee for this fight is Kevin Mulhall. The main event heavyweight bout, so three five-minute rounds, USKBA BCX title. Carlton Hasselrig, 2-0 Pittsburgh, PA. Joe Aguada, Bridgewater, 2-1 New Jersey. Don't blink, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. I'm looking to, for this one to go directly to the ground. Well, you know, obviously, Castle Rig with his background, being such a stud wrestler, we know what he can do there. The thing I was impressed watching with BCX4, the power he has in his hands, man. He not, he, Shane Ott might still be out of it after, after some of the blows that he took. Uh, his hands, he got big, strong, powerful guy. Um, again, he's a stud athlete, 42 years old, um, and he's a guy that's just getting started with mixed martial arts, and he's got a, he's got a huge career ahead of him if you continue to hold off Father Time. And if he wants to take you down, no, Donnie, you, you go down. You're going like down, yeah. and there you go. And this is exactly what he did to um, Shane Ott yep. let in BCX4. Put him on the ground, put him up against the cage, and the next thing you knew, he bangs you out. Fit. You know, I think I made this call last time, and a fight that I would love to see would be K-1. 
Kimbo Slice, Carlton Hasselrig. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously that that's a, that's an opportunity that might arise. I mean, Hasselrig has fought out of BCX um, on May 31st. He fought on the undercard of the lead XC. He's very, very uh, convincing there. Uh, he defeated Carlos Moreno. Moreno didn't want to come out for round two. Um, he's just, Hasselrig, he's such a great, great wrestler. And again, this is exactly what he did a Shane out of BCX for. He takes his back and he's going to rain hooks. Hooks down, that left hand, and he knocks you the hell out. Yeah, and when he hits you with those, you know it. Yeah, you're hurt. Very, very soon. Breaks you down. Breaks you down with, with, with knees. It's wrestling. And then uh, he controls you, and he punches you in the face until you, until you go out. I mean, we didn't realize the damage he did to Shane Ott because it wasn't, like, noticeable until the end of the fight when Shane Ott was laying on the mat. Bloody. Yeah. No, he was messed up, man. And, and again, Shane Ott, he's no slouch. He's a guy that's been in there against the best. Um, and and Hasselrig made him made him look uh, made him look kind of amateurish in, in that fight with the way that he took care of business. You see Abuada going for a uh, guillotine choke there, standing guillotine. Again, you know you're not going to get Hasselrig that way, I don't think. And notice how Hasselrig just didn't let go of the arm; he just controlled. Yeah, arm. he's well now he's in it. He's going to pop his head out. Ab again, Abuada, a young guy. He's he's always willing to fight. He's a big, big man, 6'3", 255 pounds. Okay, Hasselrig on the single there. He's got to be careful. He doesn't get caught in a triangle, though. He leaves his head out there, and Abawada went right for it. Looking for an arm bar, possibly a triangle, some type of submission attempt from his back. It's going to be really difficult to submit Hasselrig. Yeah, he's, he's so strong. He's very, very strong. He's got a big neck. He's big through his shoulders. But again, you, don't, you never want to be uh, too complacent in what you're doing, too careless. To be honest with you, I'm surprised that Hasselrig hasn't been a little bit more active with these uh, positions that he's had. You know, he's maybe starting to get into uh, the groove now, being in the cage. It's his third professional fight. Maybe he's a little bit more comfortable and he's willing to, uh, to not go for things and leave himself out there and be a little bit more methodical in his approach. But his wrestling is second to none, and he's got big-time power. So He drops a nice left hand. He's going for the arm bar. And a, big a little slam. rampage action. The answer to it. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to submit him like that. Well, he went, he went for it. He went for it. And what it, Hasselrig's answer was to pick him up and slam him on his head, and it broke the hold. And now we could potentially uh, see a big slam from Hasselrig. And again, not that Hasselrig landed any crazy blows, but there's were, blood on the forehead of Joe Guada. Yeah, very, very strong. Abuada in full guard here. Again, we're looking for Hasselrig to be a little bit more active in it with those big hammer fists and punches that he likes to throw um, from a dominant position. Oh, and it looks like he's going to get, he might get this choking. He's yeah. got the arm through. Ha Let's see how Hasselrig defends this. He's going to have to push, push that elbow up and over his head. Yeah, I I'll tell you what, I think he might have it too. Nope. Uh, Hasselrig, what he's doing, he's trying to clear his airway by pulling down on his own arm. He might be out. No, no. he's got He's got to go. He's got to push Abuada's right shoulder over his head and get his head out. And there you yeah, go. You're right. He got out of it. I'll tell you what, impressed by Abuada's submission attempts, though, from his back. We saw that choke there. We saw an arm bar earlier. Again, Hasselrig's got a ton, a ton of ability, but he's just got to be careful because he is basically a newbie to the sport. Yeah, um, and sometimes when guys, you know, they haven't spent that much time training, they get caught in things they shouldn't get caught in. Even a guy as talented naturally as Carlton Hasselrig. Two prior big shows he's in, maybe he gets overconfident. Could be. You know, I think here's a guy though that's going to take full advantage of the opportunities presented to him. He's been at the top of the heap in the NFL, National Football League, uh, amateur wrestling, uh, and he's battled back from drug and alcohol addiction. So. He probably wants to be uh, real sure that this time he does everything right to make sure that he stays on top of his game and takes advantage of his athletic skills. Last 10 seconds to go in this round number one of this title bout. It's a heavyweight, three five-minute rounds, USKBA BCX title fight. Yep. Again, we saw in round one two submission attempts by Abuwada, but again, Hasselrig dominant throughout round one with the takedowns and some of the ground and pound that he was able to do. Probably a 10-9 round for, uh, for Hasselrig there.